All right, coming from a desktop environment to a window manager, one of the things I missed most was having a nice lock screen for my laptop whenever I'm going out. And I've done a video before on lock screens, and I went over a very simple one called S-Lock, which is literally just a single color as of your lock screen. But let's be honest, having a lock screen is all about the aesthetics. Let me show you this one right here. This is better lock screen, and as its name implies, it is a better lock screen, at least aesthetically so. You can have it display a nice image here. If you would prefer to have some effect, you can add something like a blur. So that might look a little bit better to your tastes. And this is just a very nice and simple screen locker that also looks good. So people can't come in and pry into your computer while you're gone. And I wouldn't consider a better screen locker to be kind of the lazy man's approach to this because you will have to do very little out of the box in order to set this up. But one of the downsides is you're not going to get that much customizability. So if you already kind of like the look of this, then you should be good to go. But if you really want something completely different, then you're looking at the wrong program or you're either going to have to modify it a lot. But in this video, I'm going to go over how to just get this simple setup right here, how to lock your screen, do all of that other stuff. So let's just get into it. First things first, we will need to install better lock screen. So let's go to the GitHub here and we can see how to install it. I'll leave a link in the description. But of course, if you're on Arch Linux, or I believe some of these other ones like Void Linux, then you should be able to install it from the package manager. In Arch Linux, it is in the AUR, so just install it with your favorite AUR helper. If you're not, you will have to install a couple of dependencies. i3 lock color and image magic are necessary. Uh, these should already be installed. And then optionally, you can install Dunst, which I've done a video about. It's notification daemon and fat if you want to set wallpapers as well and finally you would just copy in this install script right here you'll probably copy this one for a system-wide installation so just put that in your terminal and go once you have it installed you can now go to your terminal and run better lock screen hit enter and it will show you every possible command that you can run with better lock screen but first things first you probably want to set an image as your lock screen background so we can do that with the command better lock screen dash u and with this you pass in any image that you want let's grab a different one right here say wall.jpg and if you hit enter on this then it will take a minute or two because it actually has to go through and render different versions of this image so it's rendering a dim version a blurred version a pixelated version and all of these different effects so that whenever you want to lock your screen, you can now pass in the dash L option that will lock your screen. Let me just show you how it looks normally. This is how it would normally look. And then you can pass in an argument like dim if you want a darker version of the image. You can pass in something like pixel if you want a pixelated effect. That might be what you're looking for. But it's just so you have all your different options in case you want a different effect for your lock screen. But to be honest, you probably don't want all of those and running that every single time you change your lock screen background is going to take a little while. You probably only want maybe one specific effect. So you can do that with dash u, uh, run this again, but then just pass in dash dash fx. And for me personally, I only want a blur effect. So you can just type in blur, run that. It will only blur the image, none of the other effects. So it's going to take a lot less time. And now you won't have all those options to get a pixelated effect but you probably don't need all of them, just one or two. And you can even customize some of these commands a little bit. So if you don't want such a heavy blur, or if you don't want it to be so dim, you can pass in these effect arguments. So that would look something like dash dash blur, and then you can set this uh, from a value of 0.1 to one. If you only want, say, half of a blur effect, you can type this in, and as you would expect, that would be something like this. It's a little bit blurred, a little hard to see. That's just if you don't want such a severe blur effect. So now that we have a screen locker, of course, we're going to want to have a keyboard shortcut or something like that in order to lock the screen. We don't just want to run this from our command prompt every time. And so you would just take the command better lock screen dash L and then whichever effect that you want to add. And you would just add this to whatever keyboard shortcut program you're using. For me personally, I'm using SXHKD so all, all that I did was go down here, better lock screen dash L every time I hit the Windows key and X. That's how I'm able to lock my screen. 
There's a little section on key bindings if you're on i3wm. If you're on something else, I'm sure you can figure it out. But by now you might want to make a few customizations to it. Like I said, it's not that customizable, but there are a few things that you can do to it. And so we're going to use a file called Better Lock Screen RC in order to set some settings. And it's going to be somewhere in your system. I think by default it's going to be here, slash user, slash share, slash doc, Better Lock Screen Examples. And the RC file is going to be right here. So you would just copy that to dot config and then just better lock screen RC. So you just put that in your dot config file and it will be automatically read. And here's how that looks like. Now I didn't personally change too many settings, but some of them that you might want to do is the time format. So by default, it will also display the seconds. So the hours, minutes and the seconds, I didn't want it to count down every single second. So I changed the time format right here. You can change the font. If you don't want just the basic sans serif font, you can change it to some monospace font. Maybe change the lock text to be a little bit more concise. You can additionally change the color of the box. The box that says type your password in here. You can change a few other colors in case you wanted it to match your terminal theme or something like that. So play around with these if you want to. It's not that necessary, but if you want a little bit more control, then you should go over this. I think the rest is pretty self-explanatory. And we can see if this actually works by going in here. Now we have a monospace font and we've changed the login text a little bit. And also if you want to make it lock your screen whenever your computer suspends, maybe you close your laptop lid and you want to make sure that it still locks. Better Lock Screen actually makes it pretty easy by providing you with a systemd service right here. And if you're on Arch Linux, this should already be put in the correct location for you. But you may have to find this somewhere on your system. Uh, let's run locate. And you might be able to find this somewhere on your system and you would just move it to slash user slash lib slash systemd slash system. And you shouldn't need to modify this file, but just in case you do, you can come in here, just confirm that the executable is in the right location. And then you can start this by running sudo system ctl enable better lock screen at your user. So this is the user that you log in with. This is passion dash dash now. So it starts right away. And once you enable that, your screen should be locked. And now every time you suspend your computer, Better Lock Screen will automatically start up, which is what we want, just to give us a little extra layer of security. And finally, one other thing that you can do is you can set a random image as your lock screen. So we can go into here, and instead of just passing a specific image in, we can go to something like pictures slash wallpaper and just grab a random image from there. And I don't want any of the effects like blur, so I'm just going to leave dash dash fx empty. And now this should just display a random image here, just in case you want something different every day, and that could be nice. And there's also a command to set the wallpaper as well. If you don't just want to change the lock screen background, but you want to change the wallpaper as well, maybe you can make a script that it grabs a random image for your lock screen every day, and also sets that random image to your wallpaper as well. And you can do that with the dash w option, that will set the current lock screen background to your wallpaper as well. That might be something that you wish. And that is all there is to better lock screen. As I said, it's very easy to set up. So go through all that and you now have a beautiful lock screen that you can show off to random strangers next time you go to a coffee shop, I guess. For me, I just like having a nice lock screen just to make my computer look a little bit better.